Okay, well, I noticed the engine in this old girl was making some some knocking noises and it's, it was not sounding good. So I checked the oil. It was down about a quart, so I put a quart in it. Um, it sounds like bottom end noise though, so that's never good. I finally got the tape that, that was lodged in here when I bought the truck out of the tape player. <laughs> So that looks a little better, plus when the radio is playing, this tape isn't going to be continuously um, wanting to disengage from the machine, but not able to. I had to use these surgical forceps to do it. That's actually a, like, a, like a surgical tool, but it worked. Or like a locking forcep. Anyway, it did work, so that's the main thing. I was lucky to have these. I couldn't find anything else that would work. I tried long nose pliers and they didn't work. I scraped up this tape and scratched it up quite a bit, but it's just garbage anyway, so it doesn't matter. Ah, yeah, now. We'll put these back. Hi, Tommy Cat. Tommy Cat. Hey. Oh, my goodness. Hey. Oh, hello. You got a fly on your forehead, little man. <laughs> you had a hitchhiker, you did. <laughs> Deer fly on your forehead. That's Tommy Cat, eh? He and I have the same name, you know. So you know he's a great cat, because if he's named Tommy, how could he be anything but great, eh? Not as great as Rocky, though. There's no cat as great as Rocky, eh? <laughs> I better be careful saying that around Tommy. He might bite me. Tommy and Rocky are sworn enemies. So, you wouldn't like me saying that, eh? Tommy probably don't like me saying that, but I'm making up for it by giving him some nice head rubs and stuff, eh? Showing him a little love. Yes, eh? Old Tommy cat. <laughs> yeah, my goodness, eh? All right. I gotta put this back. There he is. Okay, these have to go back. These were in here. I'll we'll put them back there. Now I've got to get everything back in here again. Oh, my goodness, eh? Hey? Well, it looks like my moving date is um, going to be in about two weeks. So that's how it's looking anyway. So. We'll see how it goes. Alright, this thing should be fairly empty by now. Get every last drop out of here. It's damned expensive, this stuff. There we go now. Ugh. I couldn't believe that. When I bought the box the day I brought it back here, I hear the bell train clattering when I I came back to town here and I went directly to Walmart and I could hear the bell train clattering and uh, that's generally a sign of low oil and so I uh, checked the oil in the Walmart parking lot and it was bone dry so that wasn't the greatest situation Anyway, better put the oil cap back on. Yeah. Yeah, if you hear knocking, that's generally bottom end. And if you hear clattering, that's generally top end, like valve train noise. Anyway. You know what, I gotta unlatch it again. Transmission fluid is good, but the um, oil was low. Okay. Let's see when I start it now if it sounds any better. Yeah. Oh, that mechanism still wanting to act up. <laughs> oh, good 
grief. Stop doing that. There isn't even a tape in there. Oh, look at this. I think I made it worse. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on. Anyway, it actually does sound a little better. Yeah, it sounded like a diesel engine when I started it before. But, uh, yeah, anyway, that's it. Well, that's, uh, I guess I could have used the oil rag that I already had there, but I forgot it was there, so I didn't. I bought more rice pudding and some Swiss rolls when I was in Perth, seeing as how I'm loaded with money now. <laughs> After, um... The lady across the road gave me $15, so I did that. Uh, I'll probably work in again on Sunday, so that means I'll earn a little bit anyway to get me through. Um, until I can earn more, I guess. Uh, I'm going to leave this open because i got to come up here and get some water. I do. Anyway, I talked to the people where I'm, that own the property where I'm going, and um, uh, we gotta, it'll be about two weeks anyway. So it'll put us into early August. Um, unfortunately, we've had torrential rains every day for a month and a half, and so the field is not in great shape. There was a rabbit. Go back and see Rocky. It won't surprise me if he meets us on the trail. Unless he's asleep in the camper, he, he will. If he knows we're here, he will. Here we go. Yeah. Well, that's good. I'll spend the next couple weeks getting everything ready. If, if they get that. There he is. Hi, Rocky. Hi. <laughs> Good to see you. If they spend the next couple of, uh, if they get the, the lot bush hogged, then I could take all those tires out of the truck and store them on the lot. And then I'll have some room so that I can do all the rest of the stuff I need to do. Yeah, hey, okay. it's going to be a busy couple weeks. Hopefully, it'll be busy with working and not just moving because I do need to work. But we'll see. Okay. But even the moving is going to be busy. Alright. Yeah. I bought ice rock. I did. Okay. Well, I have to, um, I have to put the ice down. I do. And I got a pet Rocky. I do. I got to give Rocky a rub behind his ears. Hey, you. Hey, you good boy. You're a good boy. I just had a conversation with Tommy Cat up there. I told him he's pretty great, but Rocky's better. I did, just so you'll know. I was loyal to you. I did give him some pets, but I was still loyal to you. Yes. Hey, I made sure to tell Tommy, even though I don't think he would like it, that he, he's a great cat, but Rocky's a better cat. Yes. Hey, because you're the greatest, you know. You going inside? I got to go inside. <laughs> There's a big weed got stuck in the door there. Put it over there, I guess. We we'll store our weeds over here, I guess. <laughs> I can't crazy. Okay, now. I got to get in here. Because I have things to do. I do. <laughs> hey, you going upstairs? Yeah. 
All right. Good boy. Hey, you're a good boy. You are. All right. Well, I gotta cut up the um the block of ice. I gotta take the um water from the ice. Yeah, you are. I gotta take the water from the ice and dump it into the kettle, because that's gonna be dish water. Yeah, there's always something to do, you know. Always. All right. Anyway, I don't wanna, ah, yeah. I can't go into a great deal of detail at the moment, but um, there are some reasons why I've lit, lit a fire underneath my friend who's going to let me camp where I am. That I can't really get into that right now, but there are some reasons anyway why I'm um, especially anxious just to get the job done and get, get moved out of here. And now that we have... Uh, hey, you... Now that we have um, no more rain for the last few days, and probably not for about a week or for a week or two, um, according to the forecast, um, should be able to get it done anyway. But I may elaborate on that more later on. But right now, I, I can't elaborate on my reasons. Um, for putting a push on to get it done. Now, they're pretty good to help me. They've been pretty good to me to help me, and the people here have been pretty good to me too, but I do have reasons why I need to vacate this area. And I can't, I can't articulate them at the moment. As well. So stay tuned for more drama from Camp Crazy. Or I guess it'll be Camp Crazy the second or something. <laughs> I don't know by the time I tell that story. Anyway, um, yeah. Uh, uh.